you're most welcome, our candidates 2020. Yes, I'm very sure. Despite the fact that we are in difficult times, we are enjoying the rest of the home there. Yes, last time we discussed about uh, uh, periscopes. And yes, we got to know how a periscope is made. That yes, we fix in the plane mirrors. And these plane mirrors, they are the ones to reflect light rays. But the plane mirrors are fixed at the angle of 45 degrees. And light as it is entering into the periscope, it is reflected at an angle of 90 degrees. Now, in today's discussion, we want to discuss something very different, but similar and related to light. So let's enjoy the lesson, eh? Good. So in this discussion, we want to talk about reflection of light. Reflection of light. And I'm very sure as a candidate, a dictionary is very near you there. So look up for the word reflect. What does it mean? To reflect, it means to bend. So in other words, in our discussion, we want to see that uh, more about light. As it is moving, it also bends, okay? Sometimes it bends as it meets some different transparent medium. So what is reflection or reflection of light? What is it? We are saying reflection is the bending of a light ray as it moves from one transparent medium to another, but of different densities. What is the point here to note? The light ray is bending as it is moving from one transparent medium to another. Meaning, these media, they are transparent, but they also have different densities. For example, in this case, we want to see the examples, the examples of transparent media that reflect light, that make light to bend. For example, in this case, we have water. We also have air. Glass prisms. I'm very sure I don't need glass prism, but in our next lesson, we'll talk more about glass prisms. We also have glass blocks. As we hear the word block, something which looks like a brick, but in this case, made pure of what? Glass. So we have, these are examples of, of transparent media that reflect light. They make the light to bend, okay? Now, as they are making the light to bend, what is exactly causing these light rays to bend? As the light ray is moving, there is change in the speed of light. Change in the speed of light as it is moving through transparent media of different densities. So what causes the reflection of light? What causes the bending of light ray? Change in the speed of light ray as it moves through a transparent media of different densities. You get the point there? Yes. Now, we want to illustrate a diagram showing reflection of light by a glass block. I'm saying by a glass block, meaning I have picked one of the examples of those transparent media that can reflect, that can bend a light ray. That is a glass block. So we have, what does illustrate? We have our glass block there. Okay. So around this glass block, there is air around it. Okay. But remember, we have just said the cause of reflection is change of speed in light ray when it is moving through a transparent media of different densities. Now, in this case, I have two examples of transparent media that can cause a light ray to reflect. I have air, I have a glass block. Meaning, one of them is less dense and the other one is denser than the other. So, using our brain of primary four, which one is less dense? Is it the air or the glass block? It is air. So air is less dense and the glass block is denser. Now what happens is this. When the instant ray, I think it, it strikes the glass block, I think, and then you have our normal, what is going to happen? 
as the light ray is coming, that instant ray, it hits the glass block. Where is it coming from? Where there is what? Less dense. And where the less dense is air. So it finds the glass block, which is more dense. What will happen to it? It will be reflected towards where? Towards the normal. Meaning, it is going to be reflected, it's going to bend towards the normal. To reflect towards the normal. You get the point? But because this glass block is transparent, this reflected ray has to go through it. But remember, down this way, the glass block, we have air also surrounding it. So what will happen there? We also have our normal there. Now, because now the right ray is moving from the glass block, this reflected ray, and to, it has to get out, what will happen? It is going to be reflected away from the normal. That is what we are calling the imagined what? Ray. You get the point there? Yes. So that diagram is illustrating, is showing us reflection of light by a glass block. By a glass block. Now, we can also have another example, all right? Yes. I want to use a water. What will happen when light rays coming and finds water? Is it going to be reflected towards the normal or away from the, the normal? But the point of course and get to note here that when it is moving from a less dense medium to a more dense medium, what will happen? It's going to bend towards the normal. And the vice versa is true. The opposite is true. If it is moving from a more dense to a less dense, it is going to bend away, away from the normal. Yes. Now, that's show these examples, all right? Now, in this case, we have water. And above water, there is air. Above water, there is air. And now, we have the incident ray. Moving from air, we want to enter through water. That light ray is coming. We have our normal. What is going to happen? Who can complete the diagram? Uh-huh. Who can complete? Is it going to bend towards the normal or away from the normal? Remember, air, in this case, is less dense. We are comparing the two. Air is less dense. Water is denser. Okay? So what will happen? It is going to bend towards the normal. I get the point? So that's our illustration. Meaning, in my activity, I may decide to put water above and the air below. Will you draw the same like mine? No! Remember, if that is the is coming from a more dense medium to a less dense medium, it is going to bend away. But for this case, it is that instant ray from air entered into the water and the water is more dense, what will happen? It is going to bend towards the normal. And now that rays out our reflected eh? ray. Reflected. Not reflected, but reflected. Good. Now, what is the law of reflection of light? As these light rays are moving and they are bending, what is the law which is governing them? The law of reflection states that the instant ray, the reflected ray, are on opposite opposite sides of the normal. And all are in the same plane. Members, get the point here. We are saying when the instant comes, it must be on the opposite side of the normal. Let's go back here and we we'll see what I'm talking about. I think that the instant is coming, the normal is there in the middle, and the reflected ray is on this side. So you're saying, what is the law of reflection? The instant ray and the normal, they must be on the opposite side of what? The normal. Are you seeing it there? Yes. So let's go back on our law and see what it says. It says, the instant ray and the reflected ray are on the opposite sides of the normal, and all are in the same plane. What is the meaning of the, same, the word same plane? In this case, a plane is a direction. So they are moving in that same direction, going, but they are on the opposite side. They instead their side, 
and even reflected during their side, but they are all moving in the direction, continue moving. That is our law. Don't confuse this law with the law of hope, which we discussed some time back, the law of reflection. Please, this is reflection, not the point. Good. Now, what are the effects of reflection of light? When these light rays bend, what are the outcomes? The results. What are the results? Okay? One of them is that one of the effects of reflection is that, for example, if you get a coin put in water, what will happen? It will appear raised because of reflection. Meaning, this coin will appear as if it is nearer the water, yet it is deep. What is causing that? It is the effect of reflection of light. So that we can draw a diagram there. For example, we have our container there with water. You drop in a coin. This coin, you can call it the real object. It's the real object. It must be down at the bottom there. But because of reflection of light, the bending of light rays, what will happen? This real object, which I'm calling a coin, it will appear to be nearer the surface of water, above there. But in the actual sense, it is deep in the water. Okay? So it's now called a virtual. It's not the real object, but the real one is down. You get the point? So the effect is, a coin put in water appears raised because of reflection. That is our number one effect. Number two, yeah. You enjoy swimming? Yes. Now, many times when you go to the swimming pool, you really look into the water and you see real. It is very, very shallow. That is a lie. It is reflection of light which is making it to appear shallower than its real depth. Okay? So the point here, the effect number two is a pool of water appears shallower than its real depth because of reflection. Can we rest that one? Yes, we can draw it. Okay, we can have a diagram. We have our container there with uh, the water inside it. Now, I have my eye there. Now, if you look into the water, you will discover that the water is shallow. But that, this, that distance, that depth, of the water which is lying to it is shallow. It is what we are calling apparent depth. But in the actual sense, the rays of light they must come from deep the water. Then that depth is what we call real depth. Okay? The apparent depth is what we are seeing that yes, it is shallow. Shallower than the real depth. But the real depth is the distance from where you are standing from the surface up the, from the surface of water up the deep you get a the point there so that is our effect number two effect of reflection do we have another yes for example try it at home there get a stick dip it into water or get a roller dip it into water what will happen that stick which is very straight that stick will appear bent not because the water has some magic no it is reflection which is causing the bending of light rays which are entered into your eyes, which are making it look bent. Let's illustrate it, okay? We have our container with water. Water is inside. Put a straight stick. Are you seeing our real stick? Yes. Now what will happen? This ruler, or you can call it a stick, very straight stick. When you put in the water, try it outside there. Try it at home there. Do it after this lesson, okay? it will look bent but in the actual sense it is not bent so this is a virtual stick okay just the image of the other stick with the real one okay which has just been reflected by the light rays all right good now these light rays are bending for example now in nature they also cause something called spectrum What's a spectrum? We shall discuss in our next lesson, but in just in summary, a spectrum is a band 
of seven distinct colors. A band of seven distinct colors. We can, then, we can make a spectrum in the laboratory. But a spectrum can also occur in nature as a rainbow. Okay? When it's going to rain. Okay? And when it's drizzling, most of it's drizzling. Those drizzles, those water, water dot plates, they split the white light. What is white light? The light from the sun. Then they will form a rainbow. Now, that rainbow is just an example of a spectrum in nature. In nature. So it's another effect. A spectrum is also another effect of reflection of light. We also have something, another effect of reflection of light. That is what we call mirage. What's mirage? I've not said marriage. The word is mirage. Mirage is an illusion of water. Illusion. I double L U S I O N. The word illusion means something which is not real. So saying mirage is an illusion of water that appears on the surface of a highway on roads, okay? On roads. As water. For example, as you're moving from Kampala to Jinja on a hot day, you'll see something like water on the surface of the road. But in the actual sense, there is no water. What is there that you're calling what? Mirage. So it occurs on highways during hot days. What is causing it? It is reflection of light. Light rays come and hit the surface of the road, then they are reflected, they are reflected. Then finally, for you are seeing something like water, but in the actual sense, there is no water. This thing is dangerous. It causes a road accident, by the way. Sometimes you get scared. Accident. So that's another effect of reflection of light. So it's called mirage. Okay? It's a very, very big problem. And you have heard about scenarios for getting accident on Massacre Road along Rera. That's the problem. Mirage. Those things are very common at Massacre Road. Good. Next, what is the importance of reflection of light? What is the importance of these light rays to bend? One, reflection enables images to be formed onto the retina of the eye. Now, in our eyes, in the human eye, there is a part called retina. That is where images are formed. Where images are what? Formed. So, due to reflection, the images are formed where? On the retina, then you are able to see. Next, you talk about images enable, uh, reflection enables images to be formed on the film of a camera. On the what? Film of a camera. So, in a camera, in a photographic camera, there is a part called what? Film. That is where, that's where the image is formed, okay? Next, reflection of light. Reflection of light is used in spectacles to correct eye defects. Now, you know very well what correct what means. Now, there's something new here called eye defect. What is an eye defect? An eye defect is a problem with the eye. So they use the spectacles, but these spectacles they can only work to correct that problem of the eye by the help of what? Reflection of light. We have many problems of eyes. For example, we have somebody may be short-sighted, others uh, may be long-sighted, others may have uh, um, hypermetropia, it's another name of long-sighted. We will discuss those things about, we shall discuss them. We shall discuss those things, don't worry, all right? Good. So that's the importance of reflection of light. Is there any danger of reflection of light? Yes, there is dangers. Reflection of reflection makes water bodies to appear shallower. Meaning, if you go to the swimming pool and you fail to apply science, which we are learning today, reflection is going to light you to make the water bodies to appear shallower. Then finally, what will happen to you? You will get drowned. So we're saying reflection makes water bodies to appear shallower, hence leading to drowning. You get the point? Yes. Good. 
another danger? Reflection causes mirage. We have just discussed about this, okay? Mirage. Which leads to road accidents. Accidents on roads. Okay? So reflection causes mirage, which causes or which leads to accidents on roads. Thank you very, very much. Now, as we are seeing these dangers, and we have learned more about uh, reflection, I want you to attach value on my activity. Please, please, candidates, attach value on the activity. I have given very good activity. Please write in very tight writing. And as you come back, that is the first thing I'll check. Handwriting. Remember, practice makes perfect. Whatever you have learned in this lesson, try them at home practically. Thank you very much. Stay safe.